Jose Mourinho still remains Man United's most successful manager post Fergie and these are the 11 players he signed during his two and a half years there to help him achieve that status. His first signing as Manchester United manager was Eric Bailly. The Ivorian centre-back really stood out during his time at Villarreal, so once Mourinho had the chance, he signed him up immediately for £30 million. And although you might have not such a good recent memory of Bailly at United, things actually started out well for him there. In his first month at the club, he was named Man United Player of the Month. Bailly would go on to spend six straight years at United in and out of injury and also in and out of form, but he still remains a Man United player to date and is currently on loan at Marseille. Mourinho also bought Henrik Mkhitaryan from Dortmund. The Portuguese boss bringing Mkhitaryan to Old Trafford made the midfielder the first ever Armenian to play in the Premier League. He was at United for one and a half years before he was involved in a swap deal which saw him go to Arsenal while Alexis Sanchez moved to United in 2018. In 2019, he moved to Roma on loan. That deal was then made permanent in 2020. In 2022, Mkhitaryan moved to Inter Milan where he currently plays. Still in the summer of 2016, Jose Mourinho also signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic for free from PSG. He was 34 when he joined, so he was given a one-year contract at first and the number 9 jersey. But he did so well in his first season, becoming the oldest player to score at least 15 goals in a single season in Premier League history and helping United win the Europa League. So he was renewed for an extra year and given the number 10 jersey following Wayne Rooney's exit. In his second season, United became the seventh different club that Zlatan had played for in the UEFA Champions League. Then, in March 2018, Zlatan's contract with United was terminated and he moved to the US to join LA Galaxy. He played in the US until December 2019 when he rejoined AC Milan where he still plays. In March 2023, he became the oldest goalscorer in Serie A history at the age of 41 years and 166 days. Now, the signing of Zlatan was definitely huge, but the transfer which made the most headlines in the summer of 2016 was the re-signing of Paul Pogba. Pogba had spent a couple of years in the Man United Academy but was sold to Juventus in 2012 where he went on to establish himself as one of the best midfielders in the world. The moment Mourinho was hired by United, he broke the bank to bring Pogba back to Old Trafford for 105 million euros, making him the most expensive player in the world at the time. The price tag put a lot of pressure on Pogba and that made him falter a great deal. Then in the 2018-19 season, Mourinho and his record signing had a falling out which led to rumours that the Frenchman might leave the club. As you know, it was Mourinho who eventually left. Pogba on the other hand saw out his contract with the club but his fortunes never really turned around so he rejoined Juventus for free in 2022. His second stint there was up to a very shaky start due to constant injuries but he seems to be coming back and hopefully we'll see the old Pogba once again next season. But spending big money in 2016 didn't stop Mourinho from spending big again the following year. In the summer of 2017, he signed Rolo Lukaku from Everton for £75 million. The move wasn't exactly part of a swap deal, but it felt like it was because the day before Lukaku's transfer to United was completed, Wayne Rooney completed his move from Man United to Everton. Lukaku's time at United was not good at all. He didn't hit the ground running like many expected him to, so the fans turned on him. After just two years, the Belgian striker left Old Trafford. He was bought by Inter Milan for €80 million Euros in the summer of 2019. He did much better at San Siro, helping Inter win the league in 2021. Because of his time in Italy, Lukaku's stock rose again and he was able to secure a move back to the Premier League. This time, it was his former club Chelsea that signed him for £97.5 million. Pounds. That transfer made him the most expensive player of all time in cumulative transfer fees, but it really didn't seem like good value for Chelsea. Chelsea. Lukaku was so poor in his second stint at Stamford Bridge that he was loaned out back to Inter after just one season. He's currently still at Inter, but it's looking like they won't be signing him permanently and he'll be returning to Chelsea in the summer. In 2017, Mourinho also signed a player he had worked with previously, Nemanja Matic. Apparently, Mourinho enjoyed playing the Serbian so much at Chelsea that he brought him over to join him at United. Matic was signed in the summer of 2017 for about £40 million. After signing and renewing a couple more times, Matic's contract eventually expired in 2022 and he left the club to go and join Mourinho at AS Roma where he still plays. Those two really are a match made in heaven, aren't they? That same summer of 2017, Mourinho also signed Victor Lindelof from Benfica for €35 million. Euros. Since then, the defender has been decent for United 
He's not always been the first choice, but he often turns up whenever he's called upon. He recently scored the winning penalty in the FA Cup semi-final shootout against Brighton to set up the first ever Manchester derby in an FA Cup final. Now fast forward to 2018. In January of that year, Mourinho signed Alexis Sanchez. We mentioned this earlier in the video. Mourinho sent Mkhitaryan to Arsenal and brought in Alexis Sanchez. They offered the Chilean a very hefty salary, but the investment failed to yield any returns. Sanchez struggled so much at United that in 2019, he was sent out on loan to Inter Milan, who then later signed him permanently in 2020. After two years at Inter, Sanchez then moved to Marseille, where he currently plays. In the summer of 2018, Jose signed Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk for £47 million. Right now, Fred is a pretty important player for United, but back when he joined, let's just say he wasn't exactly the fan's favourite. Last year, he extended his contract to 2024, so as of now, he's still very much a Manchester United player. That same summer, Mourinho also signed 19-year-old Diogo Dallo from Porto for £19 million. Injuries really hampered Dallo's early Man United career, so United signed Juan Bissaka in 2019 and relegated Dallo to the bench. Because he was hardly seeing any game time, he was loaned out to Milan in 2020, and that one year in Italy helped breathe life back into the career of the Portuguese fullback. In 2021, Milan wanted to sign him permanently and Dortmund wanted to take him in on loan, but Dallo decided to return to United and fight for a first-team shirt. He did that and now he's currently a starter under Eric Ten Hag. In April, he scored his first ever Premier League goal against Nottingham Forest. It's been a very good season so far for Diogo Dallo. Finally, Jose Mourinho signed Lee Grant for about £1.5 million from Stoke City in the summer of 2018. He was brought in to be the third choice goalie behind David De Gea and Sergio Romero. Grant spent four years at United playing just a total of two games for the senior team before retiring from pro football in 2022. Now, which signing would you say was Mourinho's best at Man United? Let us know in the comments. Also, let us know which other club and coach you'd like us to do next. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.